Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading a book called Mickey Ricotta's Raggy Robot vs. the Voodoo Vultures from Venus. Chapter 1, Late for Supper, it was supper time at the Ricky Ricotta, at the Ricky home, at the Ricotta home. Ricky's father was sitting at the table, Ricky's mother was sitting at the table, but Ricky was not sitting at the table, and neither was his mighty robot. It's 6 o'clock, said, said Ricky's father. Ricky and his mighty robot are late for supper again. Just then, Ricky and his mighty robot fl just flew in. Sorry we're late, said Ricky. We were in Hawaii collecting seashells. You've been late for supper three times this week, said Ricky. Smother, no more TV until you boys learn some responsibility. No TV, cried Ricky. But Rock and Rodin is t on tonight. Everyone here will be watching it. Everybody but you two, said Ricky's father. Chapter 2, Responsibility. That night, Ricky and his mighty robot went to Britain bed early. They camped in the backyard under the stars. I sure wish we could watch TV tonight, said Ricky. Ricky's robot unscrewed his hand and popped a big screen a big screen television. No, many robot, said Ricky. We're not allowed. We've got to learn some responsibility first. Ricky's mighty robot did not know what responsibility was. Responsibility, said Ricky. He's doing the right thing at the right time. Ricky and many robot pretty good at doing the right thing, but they had trouble at the right time part. Chapter 3, Victor Von Vulture. At that very moment, almost 25 million miles away, there lived an evil vulture on the planet Venus. Temperature 864 degrees, only 12,915 hours till sunset. Today's forecast cast mostly gassy with a chance of sulfuric acid. His name was Victor Von Vulture, he, and he hated living on Venus. It was so hot that the Venus on Venus that everyone all everyone's food was always ruined ruined. Their grilled cheese sandwiches were all always too gooey. But to drink their candy bars with straws because they would melt. And everybody's ice cream mel melted before they could even get one lick. So Victor Von Vulture decided to move to Earth where eating was good. First he invented the voodoo smoochu, smoochu doo 2000. Then he climbed aboard and went looking for an army. There's one now. I'll shoot him with my hip new helmet. Tuck it. Pow. Kafush. Bonk. Ha 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 ha. There's another one. Pow. Bonk. Oh look. Two more. Pow pow. Kafush. Kafush. Bong bong. Victor Von Vulture had his army. Now I need a big army. Secret grow growth ray. Click zzz. Ha 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 ha. Now listen up, bird brains. When I when I press this button, a vo a voodoo beam will shoot through space. And when it reaches Earth, the planet will be ours. Ka chunk. Brr. Bzzz. Chapter Chapter Four. Voodoo rays from outer space. Magnus mighty robot fell asleep under the stars. Well, everyone else was in in town was watching television. Suddenly, the voodoo ray from outer space beamed down through the night, the the sky. The strange signal was picked up by all the TVs in town. The big the screens began to glow eerily. But a strange voice came from the wicked signal. Obey the voodoo vultures, said the voice. Obey the voodoo vultures. Soon, every mouse in the city was hypnotized. Chapter 5, Breakfast with the Robot. Next morning, Ricky woke up and went inside to fix breakfast. But all the food in the house was gone. Hey, said Ricky, where's all the food? I can't go to school without breakfast. Ricky's robot, fruit. robot knew just what to do. He flew straight to Florida. A few seconds later, he returned with an orange tree. Thanks, mini robot. I, I love fresh squeezed orange juice. Now I have a donut. Ricky's mighty robot flew off again. So he returned with some fresh donut. Hey, Ricky laughed. I said donut, not do a donut store. Please put that back and bring me some milk. Ricky's robot flew away again. This time he returned with the freshest milk he could find. Um, said Ricky. I asked. I think I'll skip the milk today. Chapter six. I'll obey the voodoo vultures. At breakfast, the mighty robot flew straight. Ricky straight to school but something was not right all the mice in school had a strange look on their faces they were all carrying food out the cafeteria store straight to the center of town ricky found his reading teacher miss swiss what's going on here asked ricky obey the voodoo vultures says miss swiss then ricky saw his math teacher mr mozzarella they aren't supposed to have a test today Aren't we supposed to have a test today? Today, asked Ricky. O Obey the voodoo vultures, said Miss Mister Mus Finally, Ricky found the principal. 
Provlon. Why is everybody going with all this food? Asked Ricky. Obey the voodoo vultures, asked Principal Provlon. Ricky was not getting any answer. Come on, robot, said Ricky. We've got to go to the bottom of this. Chapter 7, Those Vicious Vultures. Ricky and his mighty robot followed the long line of mice to the center of town. There they saw a horrible sight. Over the city and turned everybody into vooch. Victor Von Vulture had taken over the city and turned everybody into voodoo slaves. There are, they, the hungry vultures were eating every bite and food of food in town. We want more chocolate chip cookies, yelled one of the vultures. Yes, masters, said the mice as they scurried up to start baking. And no more rice cakes, yelled another vulture. We're going to stop those evil vultures, said Ricky. R Ricky whispered, but how? Ricky's mighty robot looked around. They saw Victor and his evil invention. I bet those vultures are controlling everybody with that remote, remote control, said Ricky. We've got to get away, get it away from them. But that was going to be tricky. Hmm, said Ricky. We need a distraction. Chapter 8, Ricky's Recipe. Ricky and his mighty robot hurried back to school in the cafeteria kitchen. Ricky mixed together some butter, sugar, and eggs, and he added flour, now chocolate chips. Now some secret ingredient, said Ricky. The mighty robot flew straight to Mexico, and he worried, and he returned with the hottest peppers he could find. Ricky stirred the cookie batter, while the, his mighty robot added hundreds of super red, red hot chili peppers to the mix. The mighty robot quickly baked the cookies with his microwave eyeballs, microwave eyeballs, then cooked, then cooled the pan with a super freezing breath. Chapter nine, dinner is served. Ricky and the mighty robot returned to the center of time. Ricky pretended to pretend he was hypnotized as he bravely carried his cookies toward the voodoo vultures. It's about time, said one of the vultures. Give me those cookies, said another. The greedy vultures was fighting over the Ricky's cookies. They stuffed them into their mouth as fast as they could. Grab, snap, whoosh, snap, crunch, 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 chomp, crunch, munch, crunch, 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 munch, gulp, ah, wah, screech, cough, cough, gasp. Ouchie, 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 screamed the vultures as they dance around in pain. Ricky's mighty robot grabbed Voodoo Smoochoo 2000 crushed it in his mighty fist. Suddenly, all the mice in town returned to normal. They screamed at the sight of the voodoo vultures. Everybody ran straight home. Ricky's mighty robot had saved the city. Victor Vaughn Vulture had another plan. Chapter 10 Ricky's Bright Idea. Victor Vaughn Vulture knew that Ricky and the mighty robot were working together. Quickly swooped on down and grabbed Ricky. Don't come any closer, mighty robot, said Victor. We'll destroy your fr little friend. The voodoo vultures were very angry. They huffled and puffed as they surrounded Ricky and his mighty robot. You're going to be sorry you tricked us, said Va Victor Von Vulture as he flew higher and higher. Just when everything seemed hopeless, Ricky had an idea. He reached up and grabbed a feather of from Vic Victor Von Vulture. Ouch, yelled Victor. Ricky wiggled the feather under Victor's claw. Hey, hey, st st stop that. It tickles, laughed Victor Von Vulture. But Ricky did not stop. He wiggled the feather faster and faster. Victor began laughing harder and harder. Finally, Victor Von Vulture let go of Ricky. The little mouse fell through the air. Chapter 11, Robo Rescue. Ricky was a... Ricky was in big trouble. He was falling through the sky faster and faster. Help me, mighty robot, cried Ricky. Lightning speed. Rick, the mighty robot's arm shot up in the air. The mighty robot caught Ricky by the back of his shirt and set him down safely in a tree. Thanks, buddy, said Ricky. Now go get him. Chapter 12, the battle, the battle begins. The mighty robot flew up and grabbed Victor in his mighty fist. Help, voodoo vultures, help, yelled Victor. Suddenly, the evil voodoo vultures got ready to attack. The mighty robot was outnumbered. This is going to be fun. 
Victor snarled. The voodoo vulture began to attack the mighty robot. The mighty robot defended himself. Hey, wait a minute, robot, said Victor. Put me down first. But the mighty robot did not have time to put Victor down. Victor was stuck in the middle of the fight. Every time Victor, mighty robot punched, Victor felt the blow. Every time mighty robot clobbered, Victor got clobbered too. Every time the mighty robot clunked heads, Victor got the worst of it. Ouchie, 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 cried Victor Von Vulture. This is not as much as fun as, as I thought. It would be, hey, you two, grab his arms. Perfect. Now you two, grab, grab his legs. Wonderful. Now stretch him like a rubber band. Boing, ha, 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 ha. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Chapter 13, The Big Battle in flip rama The Voodoo Vultures Attacked. Ricky's Robot Fought Back. The Voodoo Vultures Battled Harder. Ricky's Robot Battled Harder. And Justice Prevailed. Chapter 14, Justice Prevails. Just, and Justice Prevails. The, the evil Voodoo Vultures were no match for Ricky Ricardo's Mighty Robot. Let's get out of here, rolled the vultures. Hey, wait for me, cried Victor Von Vulture. But it was too late. The voodoo vultures flew back to Venus and were never heard from again. The mighty robot picked up Ricky and together they took Victor Von Vulture to the squeaky village jail. Boo hoo hoo, cried Victor. Maybe now you will learn some responsibility, said Ricky. Then Ricky Ricotta and his mighty robot flew straight home, just in time for supper. Chapter 15, Supper Time. Ricky's mother and father had cooked a wonderful feast for Ricky and his mighty robot. Oh boy, said Ricky. TV dinner's my favorite. We're both very proud of you boys, said Ricky's mother. Thank you for doing the right thing at the right time, said Ricky's father. No problem, said Ricky. That's what friends are for. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, comment your opinion, and give a thumbs up. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!